What's up everyone, LV3 here. All right, so today I'm starting part three of the mission on the, the 2011 Road Glide CVO. Um, I got it back up on the lift. I'm starting the good part. So there should be four parts. Um, it may be three. I may do the tire change, which I already did. I did the speakers in the front. So now I got my front suspension in. So I went with legends and we'll do a quick unboxing so you can see everything that comes in it all right i went i did a lot of research i've looked at a bunch of companies as far as suspension goes olin's i wanted to go with olin's there's just a little too much which i still want for the high-end uh suspension so i wasn't i didn't save a whole lot but um i watched the reviews in the fox shocks legends and olin's and I've been I've been following Legends for a while since they first came out, and I felt uh, just to be loyal because I've seen them come up from nothing. So I went with Legends. Um, every suspension has its own little quirks. Like Fox is better at one thing than another, but I've really heard great things on Legends. So today um, I'm gonna start doing the cartridges in the front. So I have to take the wheel back off take your front cluster off and uh, or your front plastics over your where your ignition is slide the forks down and I'll set it all up um, I'll go through it I'm not an expert by no means I'm just following the instructions and some stuff that I've seen but uh, I just figure I'll bring you guys along on my adventure so there will be a part three or four whichever I want to call it um, I got the rears coming in as well but they're on back order so yeah let me show you guys a quick unboxing and this is how it comes Pretty nice packaging, okay. So I have my stickers for my front. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with just the little logo or the long logo, we'll figure that out. Here comes your instructions on how to do it. Okay, it comes with these foams. So, comes with the oil, the fork oil that you need and your two top springs. Uh, in here, my kit came with a spacer, which I just have to figure out which fork that goes on. But I do have a spacer in mine. If you're doing a 21, there'll be different spacers. If you're doing um, if you're doing um, a 23, you'll have different spacers. I went with the factory. Okay, so then they come. They're pretty nice, really light. Okay. And that's them. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get going back on this. Uh, for today, my goal, I just got out of work. So my goal for today is to at least get all this taken out, because you have to take this off so you can get to the top suspension. And then the fender's gonna have to come off. So I'll take the fender off. I'll get the wheel out, that was pretty quick. And then I'll take the, the uh, fork tubes out and we'll go from there so all right so now there's two bolts on each side to hold this plastic together they're a t40 so let me get a little t40 turn my handle so the top and bottom bolt look like that So, took my ignition out. Look up on how to do that. I'm not gonna show you because I'm not gonna want you to be mad at me. You can ruin your ignition. And I bought an ignition tool. I've had it for previous projects. So, all right. So now, as you can see, I can access my forks. And now I'm gonna move to the front and take off uh, my fender, my wheel, 
and I'm done with that for now. I like to drink and these bags come in handy for your rotors that way you don't hit your fenders I've seen a lot of people use them just a quick tip if you don't know now you know All right, so quick tip before you start taking your fender apart and doing all that crap, just go ahead and loosen, uh, I don't know if you can see it. These four, or these two, sorry. Just go ahead and loosen these two, because that's what, that's what holds your fork up, and that way you're ready. So, that way you're not trying to fight it and spinning, spinning the bolt, spinning the whole suspension, so. <laughs> All in all, just stripping it down, taking the front wheel off, the, the front uh, gauges. I'm looking at about an hour and I'm ready to lower a fork. So I'm gonna do them one at a time. That way I know which, which one goes where. And I may just start on one and keep going, we'll see. So the next bolt I'm taking off is a 5.8 socket and that's what clamps it together and I'll take my top one off and it should just drop. It's on there pretty tight, which I would expect, because that is your, it's holding you, so. Now you should hold the bottom fork, <clears throat> hold the bottom of the fork support it, take this cap off. And I got that one out. Okay, so this is a 2011. The video I watched was on a newer, it was on a newer road glide. So obviously there's differences, right? So good thing is you just take a, uh, I'll have to figure out what size wrench it is, put it in a vise, and you crack your top on it. Okay, so that's it. So I'm probably gonna keep going. I may get one side done today. I have all the, I have everything I need to rebuild this. So I have the inner fork tubes, I have the inner fork tube, or uh, I have, sorry, I have the inner fork gasket. I got the copper uh, washer, new bolts, oil. So I'll bring you guys along and I'll show you. All right, so quick note, I was setting up my vise here and the fork fell over and I wasn't thinking about that. This is wide open on the top. Okay, so either put your bolt back in it with the gasket or just don't let it fall, but it will leak out fluid, which doesn't matter, I'm changing anyway, but just a FYI, I, I thought it was sealed. All right, so I was able to get the top of this fork loose. My vise wouldn't hold it, it kept spinning. So what I ended up doing is putting it back on the bike tighten it up and broke it on the bike so I covered everything up so it wouldn't get scratched um, I don't suggest doing that that's just me because I don't have I'm not gonna spend the money on another vice if I have one uh, it worked for me so anyway I'm gonna keep going now I have to drain the oil out of the bottom that's what it says and um, remove the top cap after so we'll go from there Okay, so it's a six millimeter Allen 
for this year bike. I wish I would have looked it up. Obviously, I didn't. So I'm gonna have to make this work. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna drain it on the bottom. I'm looking for in here now is this little copper crush washer okay it's right there This bike only has 11,000 miles, probably 13 now. And uh, I think it does. This bike only has about 13,000 miles and it does stink. It smells real bad. But um, anyway, I'm going to fast forward through and strip this thing down. Carefully. Now, what I did read is up here. This thing does have some pressure, so be careful. They say injury could occur, so hopefully it doesn't. But just be careful. Had a little pressure and I wasn't ready for it so it threw me off here goes your inside spring Now I'm gonna flip her. And you'll see what's in here. Shit. Okay, so I bought a rebuild kit and I'm already done. So I bought this. Um, Bought this nice tool here to knock the ceiling. I know you can make them, but I just want to keep this stuff so I have it for the future. Okay, and um, here goes my old seals and my rings. And there was really nothing wrong with them, so I'll save those for future. You never know when you need one in a clutch. But it's a little tighter. Okay. Okay, so this is the first spring. This is the spacer that I had in there, which I'm sure I could reuse, but I'll, they sent me one, so I'm gonna use it. It goes over like that, and then you drop it in. But the easiest way to do it is obviously, oh, you know what? So I have to set my spring rate for my weight. So let's see what the chart is. 
And the cool thing is you don't need this because it comes with it built in right here in the top. So a lot of the stuff you will need this again though. So a lot of the stuff that I bought in the rebuild kit I won't even need. But I'm gonna save them. So all right, let me figure out my spring rate and I'll get back with you. Okay, so I had to take it all back apart, put the alignment cup in there first, and then the spring goes next according to the directions. So start over. All right, so like I said, it's not a how-to, so I'm kind of just gonna go ahead and get going with this. So you put your alignment cup in first before you do all your seals. Kind of knock it down, get it sealed good. And I think it's only on one fork. I don't know if they both come with one. Maybe it came with an extra one. I don't know. But I only got one in the kit. Um, then you can put your, your cartridge in, put your seal on. And before, actually before you put your cartridge in, you have to set this in. Okay, so seems really confusing, but it's not. It's your alignment cup, make sure it's in all the way and lined up. Put your seal back together, add your spring, then your cartridge. And you tighten the bottom bolt, and then you add your oil. So that's where I'm at with it now. I'm gonna add the oil, bleed it, and then mount it. I'm gonna do the second one and go from there. So I'll let you know overall how it comes out, but it has really good instructions, just follow them for sure.